Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm talking about the Cole Clark PG3 pickup system that you can install into any guitar. So this is really interesting and I've talked about this pickup before. I actually reviewed the original pickup or the older version and the PG3, so check out those videos as well. But a viewer informed me that there's now a guitar with the Cole Clark pickup installed. And with some investigation, we've discovered that you can actually buy the system on Cole Clark's website now. It's not exactly the same because the Cole Clark PG3 uses a palathetic big metal pickup that goes under the saddle. So to get around that, they're providing a thin kind of almost like a Fishman Matrix style pickup. It's not like the coaxial underseller pickups. It's like the thin film harder pickup material, which is great. Some people may prefer that. So it's not exactly the same system. And also I've found the Cole Clark system to be so sensitive that it sounds very different in different guitars. So I wanted to make this video and show you what it might sound like if you install it into your guitar. But a few things before we start. Do bear in mind that the two guitars I'm showing you are very different. The guitar behind me is way more expensive, solid Australian timbers, and the pickup is built into the guitar. The body sensor is built into the brace, and the palathetic pickup is built into the bridge. The other guitar I'm showing you, which is a Baton Rouge guitar, is way more affordable. In fact, the whole guitar is just double the price of the pickup by itself. At the moment, the pickup's around $400 US from Australia. The Baton Rouge was around 800 at the time of this video. So it's a laminate guitar, different construction, different woods. So you are gonna hear differences. Let's focus today on the quality of the output and the overall tone. But bear in mind, the guitar you install the pickup into will sound different depending on the guitar. First of all, I'm gonna talk about the Baton Rouge guitar because a lot of people are gonna ask me about it. So let's go to a close up. We've discussed this guitar a lot in my live streams. This is a Baton Rouge. This one came from Toman. I'll put links below to all the products today. Check them out if you want to. I'm not gonna do too long on this. This is gonna be a very quick overview review, okay? It's a very good guitar. I will say a few things I would change, and I hope Baton Rouge see this video. For me, the neck is slightly too thick. Now I've played some Cole Clarks and the necks have varied on those as well, to be fair. Necks do tend to vary, but I love the neck on the Cole Clark I'm showing you today. This is similar in its profile, but it's got a bit more shoulder, a bit more of a U-shape. And for me, it's a bit too much. It's almost getting towards like a classical style guitar. Not that bad, but you know, that kind of thing. So I would like to see this guitar have a little bit less shoulder on it, a little bit of a thinner neck. It's actually better up the neck, but down here, it's a little bit too fat for me. Also, it doesn't come with any strap buttons. There's no strap button on the back because there's a battery compartment. I guess they thought they didn't need one, but we need a strap button here. And we need a strap button down here. Not sure if they put it where Martin do and Taylor do or where Cole Clark and Maiton do, but it should be on there or at least in the case so you can install it yourself. I would put one on the back and leave this one in the case so the player can decide where they want their strap button to be. It sounds good. It's loud. Great guitar for playing outside. I, I just clocked it in as a bit louder than my Cole Clark, which is interesting. It doesn't sound as complex. It does sound laminate, if that's fair to say. I don't think it is fair to say that, but sometimes I play laminate guitars and they don't sound quite as rich as solid wood guitars. I kind of hear that, but I like the projection as well. The weight is good. It's not too heavy. I think it's slightly lighter than the Cole Clark I think by a few ounces. So it's a really good guitar. I think it could have a few improvements made to it to make it very, very attractive. But the real question is, what have they done to this guitar to install the Cole Clark system? Because it's not a Cole Clark, which is crazy, right? Well, they have cut a hole here, which you'll have to do on your guitar. And they have cut a hole down here, which you'll have to do on your guitar. The under saddle is easy. It's just like any under saddle goes under here. And the body sensor sticks next to a brace, I believe, but the Cole Clarks have it built into the brace. But again, it's... I, not completely sure, but I think it sticks on. There are instructional videos on Cole Clark's website, but I believe the only modification you've actually got to do here is to make those two holes for the battery and the jack and the um, preamp on the side. So I would do it. If it sounds amazing and I gig a lot, I, I do gig a lot, I gig professionally, I would do it 100%. But let's find out today if it is worth it and how it compares to the Cole Clark. 
The first thing I'm going to do is play this guitar into my audio recorder and then do the same with the Cole Clark. And then we'll go through some of the settings on each guitar and compare them directly. Here we go. Okay, so as always, let me know what you thought of that in the comments below. The Cole Clark is not as loud, which is interesting, but I've also got lower action on it. And it's made of all black wood, which is very dense. And it just works so well on stage. You know, it's a very strong guitar. It won't feed back. And so I don't really care that it's not quite as loud as the Baton Rouge. And I do think it sounds more complex. It's a great guitar. I'll review this in another video. So subscribe and ring the bell. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn volume to maximum mic off, everything on bridge, and flat EQ. I'm going to play into the preamp directly with no microphone and the gain at zero in the high Z input. I will do that, and then I'll do the same with the other guitar and tell you what I think. And once again, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, so what did you think? I'm actually really impressed with this Thunder Saddle. I think it holds its own, but the Cole Clark definitely has more low end, right? The Cole Clark has a thicker sound, more bass. I think it had a hotter output as well. I'll let you know on the video with some notation. Pretty good, so far so good. I think this held its own pretty well, considering it's a much cheaper guitar. Now let's do the body sensor only, which I would never use at a gig, but let's just see how it sounds direct in isolation, just to compare the two. I'll do the same thing again. So again, please don't comment on the sound of that. I know it sounds honky. That's not supposed to be used at 100%. Normally I use that around 50%, maybe a little bit higher. And I would normally cut some mids as well to compensate. But that showed a bit more of a difference. That was a lot hotter on my screen than the other guitar. And I think it was richer too. And it also means that is the part of the guitar that really gives you that great body sound on these guitars. So you're gonna get much more of that body percussive sound on this guitar than the other one. And I really like that. And that is my favorite part of this system. So it's interesting that I thought the undersaddle pickup would be the weak link, but I don't think it is. I think it's more the body sensor. And the reason is the body sensor in the Cole Clark is put into the brace during construction. These guitars really are made to be plugged in. The real test will be at the end when we put them all together and see how the two guitars compete with each other when everything's blended in as I would use at a show. But one more test to do. Let's do the microphone now. So I'm going to do all bridge and all mic on the guitar, that is. You're, you're hearing nothing else, just the direct signal of the guitar.
So that time again, a little bit more output from the Cole Clark. Not much, just a little bit, but it all adds up, right? All three pickups being hotter in the Cole Clark will add up to a greater signal in the end, probably. I think the Cole Clark sounded richer than this, but again, this sounded very good. And I think it's proving that the system will work well in any guitar. But ultimately, when you put everything together, how does it compare then? This is the real test. So what I'm going to do now is put everything at 50%. The volume's at 100%. Everything is at 50%. I'll leave the EQ flat. I normally cut the mid slightly, but I want to be, you know, it's hard to be fair when you start um, going away from detent. So I'll leave it as it is. So this is now a blend of everything on each guitar, and I'll come back with my final conclusion. Here we go. Okay, so what did you think? Again, let me know in the comments below. The Cole Clark was definitely hotter. I'm watching the screen as I play. I think it's hotter by like 6 dB, which is noticeable. I understand it because the guitar behind me, the Baton Rouge, doesn't have the palathetic pickup built in. I hope I'm saying it right, to the bridge. And it doesn't have the body sensor, or the face sensor they call it, built into the brace itself. So obviously it's not gonna be as hot. That makes sense. I gotta say, I've compared these before, and I thought the Baton Rouge really didn't sound anywhere near as good. Today, I feel a bit differently. I still feel like the Cole Clark sounds fatter and bigger. And that's what I'm looking for with my plugged in tone, honestly, for when I play solo shows. But I think the Baton Rouge does a great job. It probably sounds better than most guitars under $1,000 with a pickup system, right? It's very impressive. So I would keep an eye on Baton Rouge and see what happens with them. I hope they listen to what I said and start to install the end pins and also maybe modify the neck but who knows a lot of that is personal preference i do love the neck on the cole clark i have here the big question for you at home is are you willing to install this pickup in your guitar or not i suspect most of you will say no way i'm not gonna <laughs> make holes in my vintage martin i totally get that but for years i was looking for a system for a martin that was like the cole clark and i would have done it the ironic thing now is I've played the Cole Clark so long, I actually really like the Cole Clark guitars, and I just play them. But if I did decide one day that I want to put a great pickup into my Martin, I would consider it. Now, there's other pickups coming out. There's pickups like the Anthem that don't require such drastic modification that you could consider as well. But I really think this is a great move by Cole Clark. It's going to get their system into more guitars. And also, I wonder if other brands will start to install the Cole Clark system into their guitars. That could be very interesting too, and I think that'd be a very cool thing. So I hope you found this useful. If you want to help me out, can you subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment? That really helps me out, and especially subscribing, because if I can get more subscribers, it gives me kind of more clout with the channel, if you like. So this was a really fun one. And by the way, a little bonus thing for you for, before I go, if you do install the Cole Clark system, the great thing about the Cole Clark system is when you unplug it like this. You see I blinked there because I thought it was going to pop? The Cole Clark preamp doesn't pop when you pull the cable out, you know, unlike all the other systems out there. I wish the other systems could include that feature as well. Anyway, take care and be well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.